Good morning, good morning. Let's warm our phonics brains up first with our flashcards. Ink. Ing. Qua. A. May I play? E. What can you see? O. Blow the snow. I. Fly high. And do you remember this one from yesterday? Boo! Poo at the zoo. I'm going to keep that there for the moment because today we're going to be writing some oo words. So let's turn that over and keep it where we can see it because that will help us. And we're going to get our pen ready. We're going to put the lid on the end. I know you've all got fancy pens at home now, haven't you, with rubbers on the end. I haven't got anything that fancy. Okay. Are you ready? Our first word that we are going to do today is pool. You say pool. We're going to need three thread fingers to help us and we're going to say pool. P Pool. Pool. What was that first sound? It was p down pirate's clap around his face. P Ooh, we need the oo sound. Here it is. I need o and o. Oh, at the minute it says p oo poo. P oo So we're going to add down that long leg at the end. Don't forget to give yourself a little tick to each of those sounds that you got right. Very well done. Right, let's have a go at our next one. Remember you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up. I'm just going to change the colour of my pen because it's leaving a big black mark on the board. Okay, are you ready? Our next word is two. Can you say two? We'll need just two thread fingers. Now this type of two that we're writing isn't the number two. It is the word that we would use if we were saying something else as well. So, um, oh, I am cold. Oh, Millie is cold too. I'm hungry. Thomas is hungry too. So we're saying someone is something as well. So two. T, oo, two. This one's nice and easy, that first sound. Down the tower and across the tower. T, oo. Here it is. An o and an o. Can you put your dots and dashes? T, oo, two. Wonder if I put another t at the end, shall we have a go at reading this one? T oo t toot. A bit like a car going toot toot. Okay, I wonder what other sounds we could add on the end of two to make new ones. I wonder if any of you can make new words starting with z uh, two. So our next word is zoo. Can you say zoo? We need two thread fingers. Z, oo, zoo. Now we need a z sound. Z, z, zip. Then we need, I'm going to cover it up this time because we need the oo sound and I want to see if you can do it without me. Have a go. Let's see if you were right. We need an o and an o. Z, oo, zoo. What word would I make if I put oom mm on the end? Z, oo, Zoom. Well done. I wonder if you can make any other words with zoo at the beginning. Let's try the 
next one, it's a bit more tricky. Our word is spoon. Can you say spoon? Now we're going to need four thread fingers for this word. And we're going to need to slow ourselves down when we say spoon. 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 So let's go back to that first sound. It was Can you write the next sound? See if you can beat me. I'm going to go down Pirate's Plat, round his face. Sp Ooh, let's cover it up. Did you get it right? It's an off and another off. Sp Ooh, no. Now, Nobby. Over his net. Don't forget to make sure that his net is the same height as his head. Spoon, spoon, spoon. What would happen if I put s on the end? Do you think you could read it now? Well, we know we have the word spoon, spoon. We've just put s on the end. So spoon becomes spoons. One spoon, lots of spoons. Fantastic. Okay, this is our last one. The word is moon. Can you say moon? Now we need three thread fingers. Moon. 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 Think what that first sound was. See if you can beat me. Mm, maybe. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Moon. Moon. Fantastic. Well done, guys. So a little challenge for you today, once you've finished, using uh, the words that we started with, two of the words that we started with. So using this one, to to and zu, zu, see if you can add a letter on the end to make a new oo word. And I will see you tomorrow for a brand new sound. Bye.